Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today in this video, I'm going to show, how to update kexs for open core bootloader on Hackintosh. If you're new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe. And now let's begin. To quickly update kexs for an open core bootloader, you'll need open core auxiliary tools. Now, open OC auxiliary tools, and after it opens, click on edit, and then click on mount ESP. In the mount ESP partition, click on the mounted open config.p list, and enter your credentials. After the plist opens, click on the upgrade open core and kext icon. Now under the kext section, your all the kexts will be listed, with their current version, and the latest version available. Now click on select all, and then click on check for kexts updates. After getting the latest available version of kexts, you'll notice that for a few of the kexts, no newer version is available. For those kexts under which none is available, you'll have to manually check, if the updates are available. Now click on update kexts, to update the available kexts. Now, the kexts for which the update was available has been updated. Now it's time to update the rest of the kexts for which the update couldn't be fetched. Here, Apple ALCU, and XHCI unsupported kexts updates can't be fetched. To update such kexts, look if the update is available. Here you can see, for XHCI unsupported there is no newer version available. But for Apple ALCU, there is a newer version available. Now download the latest version of the kext. After downloading the kext, replace it with the older kext present under the EFI's OC kext folder. After placing the newer kext, in the OC Auxiliary Tools window, click on Check for Kexts Update, and this time you'll notice that the current available version the kext, which has been updated manually, has a different version than earlier. Now click on Start Sync, and then close OC Auxiliary Tool, while saving the changes and you're done. After saving the plist, restart your computer, and make sure to reset the NVRAM at least once. And finally, on the next boot, you'll be good to go with the updated kexts. So that was it, hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, just comment down below, or create a thread on our forum. Make sure to check out the forum for in-depth guides. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.